Hi everybody, Editing Rose here. I just wanted to let you all know that I filmed the walkthrough of this deck in one full video. It was about two hours long, so I've broken it up. So if you found one of these and it's the middle video and you wanna see the rest, they are up on my channel. Take a look. I have a full walkthrough of the Herb Crafters Tarot in one video also. It will be linked above. But yeah, enjoy the rest of the videos. Last but not least, we have the Suit of Earth and we have the first card being Nettle. I really like this card. I like Nettle. It reminds me of the character Nettle from Robin Hobb stuff, but it's also one of those ones where it's a nice plant. I like looking at it. The Two of Earth, I really like this card and I didn't before, I don't think. I like the like ribbons on the flowers or the plant. I like the birds. I actually did a reading with this card once and instead of interpreting it with the title and all of that, I actually looked, cause it was a situation between three people and I looked and it was kind of like, what will happen? a little bit and then I saw it as these two are being kind of separate on their own and this, well, being together and then this person being on the outskirts and away. So it was interesting to get little intuitive hits like that from cards like these. Three of Earth, beautiful, raspberry, my favorite, delicious, snack, that's all. Three baskets filled to the brim, lots and lots of growth. And you know that you didn't pick these all by yourself. You definitely had help picking all those because that would be exhausting. Four of Earth, you see the baskets starting to, the weaving starting to be brought into the cards as well. And this is kind of a simple basket. It's not very intricate or detailed, but it does the trick. A basket's a basket. The Five of Earth. I love the storm clouds in the back. I like that we also have the star from the Five of Fire in here. I just, I like it. The Six of Earth. This is one of the only night cards I feel we get in the Minor Arcana. I also love this one. You have fire, but it's an earth card. I think it's totally fine. It's not like it has to be, you know, whatever. <clears throat> the seven of earth is one of my very favorite cards in this deck at all. I talked a lot about this in the first one, so I'm not going to talk about it very much in this, but I think that the meanings that I gleaned from it the first time are the same. I carry those with me even now. The eight of earth, I love this card. I actually used my tarot deck to help me because I started knitting a sweater and I have a yellow, orangish rust color and brown yarn and I am making a sweater and I wanted to figure out what order I wanted the color to be in and I actually asked tarot and it showed up. This card showed up, I think as the orange option for me and it showed where the orange was supposed to be which was like the cuffs and the collars so very fun using tarot in a light and playful way like that and having it answer because every card that i got from that was the color corresponded really well and it wasn't confusing it was very clear like this is what you're supposed to do the nine of earth i've always loved this card this was one that is a card that I love when it shows up for me. It looks delicious. I wish that um, whoever lived in this house was my friend and made me pies and dried apples, snacks and things. The 10 of earth, you see that the basket has really become very intricate and you've really become kind of a master in that, but you're looking to level up. You know, the 10 is a, ending but also a new beginning. 
the Ehav Earth. I love this, that she's making a barrier and setting her boundaries. That is something that I need to work on. And you see how it's not perfect. And then you move to the Adelita and she's practicing, but getting pretty good and very, you know, nimble. The Madre of Earth, I love this card. I really don't get this very often anymore, but I like to see it as an offering and an invitation to offer and give things to either nature or deity and spirits or ancestors or whatever. I love this card. The Curandera of Earth, which is last but certainly not least. Uh, I love this one because it's going back to the basics. You're braiding the sweet grass. It's not doing anything ridiculously intricate and in-depth and very minute details. It's, I've mastered all of those things, but I still respect and enjoy doing the beginner and simple things. So that is my walkthrough of the Herb Crafters Tarot, one year with the Herb Crafters Tarot. It's been a year and a little bit over a month. I got this deck March 13th of 2022. 